you know, I wanted to book a restaurant, and it's kind of incredible. It kind of can go ahead and do it, but this is what it said. There's a, you know, it was an intriguing process, and, you know, give me your credit card and everything else, and uh, <laughs> I, I, I declined on this case to go forward, but I think this is, this is the challenge that people are going to have. It's, it's kind of like, it's an incredible superpower. It's a little bit scary, and Joshua Bengio, when, when he spoke here, said that agentic AI is the thing to pay attention to. This is when everything could go wrong, as we give power to AI to go out onto the internet to do stuff. I mean, going out onto the internet was always, in the sci-fi stories, the moment where, you know, escape happened and potential things could go horribly wrong. How do you both release agentic AI and have guardrails in place that it doesn't go too far? First of all, obviously you can choose not to do this and say, I don't want this, I'm going to like call the restaurant and read them right. my credit card over the phone. I could choose, but someone else might say, oh, hey, go out, chat GPT onto the internet at large and rewrite the internet to make it better for humans or whatever. Yeah, I mean, the point I was going to make is just with any new technology, it takes a while for people to get comfortable. I remember uh, like when I wouldn't put my credit card on the internet because my parents had convinced me like someone was going to read the number and you had to fill out the form and then call them. And then we kind of all said, OK, we'll like build anti-fraud systems and we can get comfortable with this. I think people are going to be slow to get comfortable with agentic AI in many ways. But I also really agree with what you said, which is that even if some people are comfortable with it and some aren't, we are going to have AI systems clicking around the internet. And this is, I think, the most interesting and consequential safety challenge we have yet faced. Because AI that you give access to your systems, your information, the ability to click around on your computer, uh, now those, you know, when the AI makes a mistake, it's much higher stakes. 